I have something for you. Though, okay, those words coming out of your mouth are... It's a monkey! It's, it's a, a monkey. monkey. It's a monkey with a hippo up its ass. I'm a hippo. I'm a monkey. I'm a hippo. I'm a monkey. A monkey with a hippo up its ass. What do you call it's it? A, Roseanne it, Parr? It's a mippo. I call it a mippo. A mippo. No, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That would be... Uh, what was his name? It's a technical term. Dan Arnold. That's what you call it. Tom Arnold? Tom Arnold, yeah. That's it. It's a mippo. It's a mippo. It's a monkey. It is a hippo. Ladies and gentlemen, she believes this constitutes comedy gold. No, I believe up a hippo style constituted comedy gold and you don't. And that just means that you're wrong. I can't help it if you don't get what's funny. I can't help it if you don't know what the people want. I know what the people want. And I know that the people want this, but this is still broken. Because so. you can't go to the Walgreens I, and get an eyeglass screwdriver. I can. The problem is I'm flaky like a fucking pie crust. And I forget every time I leave the house that I need to do that. So, you know, I'm totally the person that has to go to the supermarket like every day because every day I forget one thing that I needed from the supermarket. <sighs> we have some interesting shit tonight. I, Let's I, do some interesting shit. It's it's there is a cavalcade. I would I would Ooh, I, I would cavalcade hazard to say a cavalcade of stuff to entertain everyone with. It's it's yeah, let's get the intro going here. Where Everybody's are you? yelling at me now. Why are they yelling at you? For forgetting to buy a screwdriver. <laughs> We're like, God damn it, write it down. You have an iPhone. You have an iPhone. I know. And I do use the notes feature. Mostly for LARP stuff. <laughs> I know. I, I'm i sad. Oh, I'm pathetic and a loser. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible shit. Brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And unfortunately, I missed The Walking Dead mid-season finale, which made me a little sad. But that's okay, because apparently it's popped up on What the Fuck is Wrong with You tonight. I don't want to know. <laughs> this is a real thing. I This comes from the department of I Shit You Not. Zombies are among the reason for increased gun sales. What? Gun sales are soaring across the country. The FBI reported earlier this week requests for background checks skyrocketed 20% on Black Friday over the same day last year. A noted gun right, guns rights advocate says zombies are just one reason why. There is, I guess, what I would call a cottage industry that sprung up in the last couple of years. Uh, says uh, Dave Workman of the Second Amendment Foundation. He's not kidding. Workman. Workman. Is he in the Dharma Initiative? It's not all about Lost. Yes, it fucking is. It is. Lost is everything. A lot of people appear to be in, really enthralled by this. I've seen lines of zombie targets. I know one or two ammunition companies that have in introduced boxes, line of cartridges they call zombie cartridges, shotgun shells, and rifle shells. Um, they're defending themselves because they know that though the police try to do a really good job, every second counts when they say the police are minutes away, people have decided, hey, I can't wait for the cavalry to come to my rescue. I've got to defend myself and my family and my home. From zombies? Zombies aren't fucking real. I know. Okay. Zombies aren't real. You know, this isn't a thing that's happening in the world. Wherever you I have so many friends that are like they're making their zombie defense plans and planning the house that they're buying on whether they're zombie defensible. And it's become a goddamn mass psychosis and it needs to stop. You, you know, I, I'm I don't care where you fall on the whole arms control or Second Amendment rights thing. I do, however, think you need to have a question when you go to the gun shop that says, are you buying this to shoot zombies? If the answer is yes, you don't get a gun. How is that not on the background check? I know. 
Why don't they include zombies on this shit? Do you honestly believe that the dead will eventually rise and you will need to blow their brains out? Yep. Yes? You don't get a fucking gun. You don't get a gun. We don't give you a gun. It's like, you know, what we, we're probably going to have to include Bigfoot on the list and uh, aliens on the list and uh, vampires probably. Or, uh, yeah. Chupacabra. That's, that's the thing. It's the same thing as believing the fucking chupacabra is going to come and eat your child. It's the same thing as believing that vampires are going to attack you. It's the same thing as believing that if you wander into the wrong part of the woods, a pack of shirtless teenagers will turn into wolves and eat you. Same thing. Equivalent. I don't think they'd need to turn into world wolves. Yes, I know the but... CDC has released zombie guidelines. Everybody, please stop spamming me. I'm aware. They're part of the fucking problem. It was a joke. It was a fucking CDC. Oh, the CDC believes in that zombie. It was a joke. NORAD also tracks Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting this gun to shoot at Santa? Yes or no? You guys all believe in Santa? Because NORAD tracks him. That means it must be true. Oh, God. You know what? There's one. You, you people don't fucking trust the government on anything else. Right at this moment, there's one person who is watching this with their eight year old child in the background, which they shouldn't be. And that Nobody child should just, be watching this with children anywhere. That child just looked up and said, Mommy, what does she mean? Santa's not real. Don't do that to me. <laughs> I have nieces and nephews. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Don't hang that on me. That's not okay. <laughs> okay. I will lose sleep over that shit. Well, I'm I'm surprised we didn't have more Thanksgiving shenanigans, but they're making up for it this week. Um, this comes to us from Port Matilda. Where is this? Central Daily. They never say where the fucking state is. Port Matilda sounds like Florida, but we'll find out. Man threatened with hatchet on Thanksgiving over trivial pursuit question. It was the moops. The moops. You're old I to get have known people that get violent over trivial pursuit. Like, bad. Police were called to a Port Matilda home after a disagreement over a game of Triple Pursuit led one player to threaten another with a hatchet. State police in Phillipsburg said a verbal argument over an answer to one of the board game's questions turned physical. The incident happened Thursday night. When troopers arrived at the home, they seized a hatchet and discovered it was actually a piece of drug paraphernalia. What? Can you make a bong out of a hatchet? You can make a bong out of anything. I, you, you can make a bong out of anything. Oh, that's a cute puppy. I'll make a bong out of it. Hi, Grandma. I'll make a bong out of it. How the fuck is a hatchet a piece of drug paraphernalia? I don't... I. That doesn't fucking compute. You can make a bong out of anything. And someone probably has. I... Drug per that okay. This story took a hard left turn it somewhere. It did. It did. It went from something I understand and turned into something I don't understand. I I'm just trying to understand. Okay, let's break it down a bit. Number one, if you're in the middle of Trivial Pursuit and find the need to reach for a bladed weapon, yeah. You might be taking the game a little too seriously. And I take Trivial Pursuit pretty fucking seriously because it's pretty much the only board game I'm any good at. But I have never. I'm good at ever shoots and ladders. Threaten someone with physical violence over a game of Trivial Pursuit. I, I may have in my time. Hurled the occasional pie piece at somebody. But that's not exactly the same thing as a that's hatchet. That's not a hatchet. It's you not can't a hatchet. kill somebody with a pie piece. Yes. Well, you could probably choke them to death on it, but you can't kill somebody throwing a pie piece at them. You can fucking kill somebody throwing a hatchet. I Okay, and, and the next part here is if you are, let's say, going to assault someone with a bladed weapon over Trivial Pursuit, try to make it one that is not also a bong. Or you what you're, what you're using to cut your cocaine because 
or whatever you would do with a hatchet to make it drug paraphernalia. I it's a can't, bong. I can't even. It's a bong. You know it's a bong. If 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 you weren't going to jail before, you sure the fuck are now. That's like you know hedging your bets on the jail thing. I have to read what Mike just posted. Oh dear. One of my brothers assaulted another one of my brothers with a hard cheese during a game of Trivial Pursuit. Not one of the pie pieces, but something from a Hickory Farms gift set. You got a weird family. Oh, Mike has a weird family. Yeah. Catherine says, so it was a delicious assault. Yes, it was. My family is totally normal. I don't know what the fuck you're implying. With the dog on fire. Anyway. Very functional upbringing. Lit the dog on fire. That was before I was born. And that dog had a kick under its tail. Do not disparage my father's name. Don't speak ill of the dead. I don't know how to broach this one. It's not the sort of thing you discuss in polite company. I'm just going to throw it out there and let you make whatever comment you, you make on it. And then I will be, I will be guilt free on this one. Here we go. Missing sex toy triggered domestic assault. And this is from South Carolina. And this is also Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day argument over a misplaced sex toy escalated into the ironing board assault of a South Carolina woman by her girlfriend. Uh, according to police report, officers Thursday went to the Rock Hill apartment of Artisha Donaldson and Latoya Hudson in response to a domestic dispute report. Hudson told cops that Donaldson, quote, began looking for her detachable latex penis and became upset she could not find the item. Okay. She should have gone down to the Kiev and ate breakfast. Hudson states the two argued for several minutes when Donaldson threw an ironing board at Hudson at that point, Donaldson's brother allegedly joined the fray, which left Hudson with a sore head. Uh, While well, Donaldson, picture above, admitted engaging in, quote, mutual combat with her girlfriend, she denied throwing the ironing board at Hudson and said, only said her brother had attempted to break up the fight. I don't feel right commenting on a fight over a latex penis. I feel, again, that we need to go over a little thing called proportionate response. Your strap on, it's probably going to turn up eventually. No pun intended. Oh, oh. You're going to find it somewhere. It, it, the chances are very slim that it has left the house, like gotten up and left on its own. It's, it's, it's there. You probably, you don't need to swing furniture at your loved one's over such a thing if it's not there it's replaceable it really and is. if you feel that maybe your girlfriend used it with somebody else just break up don't break th up. don't throw the ironing board don't no, yeah. there's there's very few situations in this world that 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 in, that swinging an ironing board at somebody would be appropriate you, you can replace a dildo you can't replace a skull well, or technically, medically, technically, medically, you can, but it's a lot harder. It's a lot easier to just log on to Babeland.com and buy yourself a new strap on. <sighs> so, oh, this is from Joliet. And you know what? This is amazingly appropriate for Joliet. Wow. I don't means. Joliet, Illinois, you never seen the Blues Brothers? Tara. You've never owned. I haven't. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I leave her to your tender mercies. <laughs> I think I saw the part with Aretha Franklin singing in the diner. That's like three minutes of the whole movie. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the only part I've seen. So this is from uh, Chicago Joliet. Teen robber caught getting high, caught after getting high in store restroom. And you're like, that doesn't sound so weird. Wait for it. After robbing a, a store to get oxycodone, 16-year-old self-admitted heroin addict went to the restroom area to get high and made no attempt to escape police. 
suspect entered the store and produced what appeared to be a black handgun, but later was determined to be a BB gun. Suspect also had a black rope. Suspect handed a note to pharmacy technician and demanded oxycodone pills and packs of 30 gauge needles. After obtaining the item, the juvenile ran to the restroom area. Officers arrived at the scene and took him into custody. So, instead of leaving, he went to the store's bathroom and got high there. I guess he figured it's the last place they'd look because a smart person would leave the place they just robbed. Yeah, I'm, I'm sensing a hole in your plan. I mean, obviously, he was just really fucking fiending and wasn't thinking clearly. But dude, flee the scene. Is it is oxycodone armed that robbery one oh one? Flee the fucking scene. You're making notes, aren't you? I don't even know how I'm supposed to do this show. <laughs> it's like fucking remedial. Like I'm gonna need flashcards. You need a blackboard. And one of those pointer things. Flee the scene. I mean, seriously, is, is oxycodone that good that you're willing to? You know what? I'm going you know, to be arrested. I'm not going to lie. I totally have leftover oxycodone from getting a wisdom tooth pulled. And that shit's pretty good. Not like I take it recreational. <laughs> I, use it, I use it if I have a migraine because nothing else will kill a migraine. I'll take like one. Oh. And it is fucking effective. Are you on drugs like, right now, Tara? I'm high on life. And oxycodone. Oxycodone is life. Oh, and speaking of more stupid criminals. Oh, Savannah, George. Really, Savannah? I love Savannah, George. It's one of my favorite towns in the whole wide world. And yet... You make me ashamed, Savannah. You make you make me ashamed. Alleged phone thief uploads self-portrait to victim's Facebook page. Savannah man charged with burglary was caught after a picture of him showed up on the victim's Facebook page. The victim, a Florida native, told Savannah police that her car had been broke into. Around 3 a.m., uh, the victim noticed a photo of someone she did not know on her Facebook page. Could you describe the perpetrator here? <laughs> oh, girl, oh God. Oh, detective signed the case, thought he recognized the man depicted as 18 year old Timothy Jackson, who was currently on probation. And a Rhodes Scholar. Words <laughs> fail. You're taking pictures of yourself on stolen property. And then you're adding it to the Facebook page. Really? Do you just want to get go to prison that bad? The Internet is not. Is the long lost love of your life in there and you're hoping to be reunited? Because you could just visit. It's not a series of tubes. It's it's actually things that happen. If you put something on it, other people will see it. Did you not understand what upload to Facebook means? Maybe. You Maybe, can, well, it, it, he probably didn't realize it was logged into theirs and thought he was uploading it to his own Facebook. How did he think they already? Oh, they already have my Facebook ready. That's nice of them. I don't I, I, I don't I don't know. That's mighty neighborly of them. I steal their phone and they got my Facebook ready to go. Or, yeah, someone points out Instagram, if you have certain settings and take a picture, will automatically upload to Facebook and Twitter. So it's possible wow. she had Instagram and he took a picture and it just automatically uploaded. I could, that, that just sounds like a recipe for disaster right there. It is. <laughs> I'm amazed Instagram isn't just loaded with shots of genitalia at this point because of that. All right. Mine I'm is, but none of them are mine. <laughs> I don't even remember my Instagram username. I'm such a bad hipster. I have the app on my phone. I can't log in because I don't know my username or my password. 
Our last story tonight is this is a douche. This is a big, huge douchebag. This is an industrial strength dude. This is this is this is like if King Kong were a lady, this would be King Kong's douchebag. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm exaggerating? I'm just trying to break down that. You think I'm exaggerating? Look at this headline. Ambulance gets booted while paramedics tend to emergency. No. The Quickie's convenience store in Mid City, it's this New Orleans, takes its parking very seriously. Very seriously. At uh, 4 p.m. Friday, New Orleans paramedics rushed inside the store for a man with a life threatening medical issue. They worked on the patient with chest pain, then put him inside the vehicle and started to speed off. The paramedics, quote, heard a loud noise and i've got to put the picture up because this this is amazing big screen kids heard a loud noise and the vehicle came to a screeching halt the medic stepped out and found a boot on their ambulance convenience store employees allegedly put a restrictive parking boot on the ambulance and it was stuck um Store employees didn't want to talk about it. They declined requests for a comment. Apparently, I wonder why. Apparently, one of the employees took the boot off. The tire was left flat. And so paramedics and the man with the emergency waited. Signs on the convenience store make clear that parking is for customers only. Sign states, if you leave the property for any reason, your vehicle will be booted. It gets so much worse. Yes. We called the telephone number on the sign for the boot man. A convenience store employee picked up, then hung up. I, I just, I. Okay, the parking rules, whatever your parking rules are, they don't fucking apply to life-saving personnel. No. They don't apply to the fire department. They don't apply to the police. They don't apply to the fucking EMTs keeping a guy from dying on your goddamn floor. If, if someone dies in this circumstance... You are considered to be at a, to, to be manslaughter charges. Yeah, you're responsible. No, that's you why you prevented them from getting care. That's why just front tip kids. If you're ever out in traffic and you think it would be entertaining to fuck with an ambulance, you go into jail. Yeah, that's that's I, sometimes they can even justify that as an attempted manslaughter charge, mm -hmm. depending on the circumstances. You don't fuck with an ambulance. Yeah, the fucking ambulance parks where the fucking ambulance needs to park. And everybody shuts up about it. But you know the good thing about this story? They're never going back to that quickie mart ever again. Well, that's not a good thing. What if another customer has a medical issue? Ooh, point. Maybe, well, no one will be going to that quickie mart ever again. Yeah. Hey! If your pacemaker gets fucked up by the microwave burritos and you die, we're going to boot the ambulance. The, slip on the wet floor and break your neck. Sucks to be you, buddy. No one is coming to the Quickie Mart ever again. Ever <laughs> again. I just and it's it's not Quickie Mart. It's Quickie's convenience store. How goddamn deficient do you have to be? Oh, look, we have an update on the story. Thank you, I guys. Mean, seriously, how deficient do you have to be as a human to boot a fucking ambulance with the lights on with the EMTs inside your place of business? Well, the store worker who had booted an ambulance while medis medics were inside the store has been fired and cited. Um, Ahmed Saidi Alawa, I'm probably saying that so wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, was cited uh, by New Orleans police for simple criminal damage. Put a boot on an ambulance Friday while cruising, helping a man inside the store. He didn't realize that he had booted an ambulance and added that he doesn't speak English. You know, right. I don't care what country you're in. I'm pretty ambulances tend to look pretty close to one another. I'm pretty fucking sure they have ambulances like a big fucking truck with medical equipment in it and flashing lights. Probably don't want to fuck with it. Did you come from the Amazon? Maybe one of those lost hidden tribes down there did you just you know wander up north and somehow made your way to new orleans and work in a quickie mart come on you know what a if, fucking ambulance is yeah that that doesn't fly for me 
I understand some people don't speak English, but if you're using I don't speak English as recognizing a goddamn ambulance, you are so full of shit. No. No. They don't use a red cross. I don't care if they don't use a red cross. It's a big fucking thing with sirens and lights on it. What did they think it was? The ice cream man? Maybe. I mean, flashing lights, sounds. I guess we learned this week that in some countries, ice cream vans are very loud. Yeah, I think that that's what we. I I think that's what we learned this week. Um, We learned that. Hatchets are apparently drug paraphernalia. You can make anything into a bong. I'm trying to think of a horror movie where a guy used a hatchet. Maybe he was just really angry because he ran out of drugs, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. So that joke kind of fell flat. Anything can be made into a bong. Any goddamn thing can be made into the bong. Um, we Isn't that a song from Avenue Q? No. It that, should be. That, let's see. Uh, they should show you a puppet made into a bong. You can make a puppet into a bong. I'm sure. Someone in the world right now, somewhere, has a Kermit the Frog that's green in many ways. Hmm. You think I'm kidding? Um, no, I don't. We've we've learned that um, don't take if you if you steal a phone, don't take your own picture with it. Because you are quite obviously not prepared for the smartphone experience. No, that's that's not the shining. That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah, the, shi- the, the hatchet. Yeah. Wouldn't that yes. have been a great scene in The Shining? Here's Johnny. <laughs> he wouldn't have wanted to kill anybody then. No, he wouldn't. He would have been a lot. He would have more mellowed alive. the fuck out. Everything would yeah. have been cool. Here's, yeah, you know what? I'm been, just gonna go have a nap. That would have been a far less interesting movie. It would have. It would have been. Yeah. Um, we've and speaking of drugs, doesn't matter what the drug is. I don't care how good it is. Go home first. Leave the scene of the crime. Leave the scene of the crime. Go home. Always leave the scene of the crime. Don't fucking linger. No. We've learned that uh, you can replace a rubber dick. So don't throw ironing boards at people. You can replace a rubber dick. You cannot replace your freedom or someone's skull. You just said we could replace a skull. You can, but it's a lot more difficult. Yeah, I I know. Here's a test, kids. Type skull replacement into Google and then type rubber dick into Google and see which one gives you more. And just for funsies, turn the safe search off (laughs) and do it while you're at work. Somewhere, someone is watching the show with an eight year old and (laughs) they're looking at rubber dicks. I'm wondering if Santa will bring them one. I'm just thinking right now, as soon as mom leaves the computer, it's the late year old going, Robber dicks. <laughs> and finally, we learn tonight, if you believe the de- there is no more room in hell, you don't get a gun. I just... <sighs> Can we be done with the zombie thing? I'm so over zombies. I'm so over zombies. I'm sick of them. And I know that's like, that's basically the pop culture equivalent of saying you sympathize with the Nazis. But I'm so over zombies. Well, what have we got left? Yetis? I mean, there's Fine! Not- Fuck it. Let's do a whole TV show about Bigfoots taking over the world. Great. Let's redo all the Planet of the Apes now that we did a prequel. Let's do aliens again. Anything. Anything. I'm so over zombies. But yes, if, if you honestly, if you do believe in zombies, you don't get a gun! No! Because I can can already just imagine. Have you ever seen uh, Shaun of the Dead? Yeah. That scene where the guy is going, uh, and they go uh, back. I can just sort of imagine the reverse of that. They don't think he's drunk. They think he's a zombie and they shoot some drunk guy in the head. It was a zombie officer. And there you go. That's we're going to be doing that story a month from now. Yeah, we're going to be doing that story. 
I swear to God, he was undead. No, he just had a lot of Baileys. He just smelled undead. He just had a little too much wild turkey. And that's 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 the stories for this. God damn it. Motherfucker. President Camacho, 2016.